What's up guys, it's your boy Proscriptor363, back at it again with some Roblox scripting tutorials. Now this one we're going to be covering data storage, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it, it's going to be quick and fast, and I hope you guys can keep up. I'm just kidding, it's super easy, if you guys can't get this, I don't even know, I mean, all it is is just a few lines of code. I think it's super easy, so let's get into it and uh, get started. So what we're going to make, what you need to make sure you have is a uh, a place where you can edit um what well, you got to be able to edit your place because if you don't have it uh, a place uploaded to your roblox account then the server testing um data storage will not work so what we're going to do is just add a script here and uh, go ahead and start coding so what you want to do is put local and then we're going to do a uh, data storage service right here or data store and uh, what it's going to do is go ahead and get the data storage for the roblox data store and um, it's kind of it's kind of like a connection to the database. Well, it is a connection to the database. So uh, the database connects. You will you connect to the database, and uh, you can um, upload your values. You can get your values out of the database, and you can also um, update it at the same time as you uh, change it. Yeah, you can update it at the same time as you change it. So uh, what we're going to do is add a player added function which is every time a player joins the game it's going to call this so we're just gonna go ahead and put the listener down here uh, basically what the top says that uh, basically it, all it is is a connection to your uh, your data storage so we're just gonna finish off this connection here okay, connect it to player added delete these brackets alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make the another local variable that is going to be called uh, leader stats, which is going to actually show you. Uh, it's actually going to show um, exactly how much cash you have um, when you start off the game, and that's just kind of how it's going to have to work. So the string value is the leader stats value what I'm making right now. So we're just going to keep making this. Uh, we're going to name this leader stats. I'm pretty sure if you don't name it leader stats, it doesn't work. So I will just keep the name as leader stats. That's going to show up in your player GUI or GUI. So we're going to call it leader stats. Close it off. Next thing we're going to call is a uh, cache, which uh, we're going to be storing cache in this tutorial. So if you want a player to store cache and then buy it the next day he comes in and then make more cache the next day he comes in, this is what we're. This is how you do it. So. But we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna parent the cache to the stats. So, oh, I just forgot to change that to capital P. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and parent that uh, cache to the parent of stats. Sorry, we're gonna parent the cache to stats. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna name it cache. You can actually name it whatever you want. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is going to make a user. Um, user ID which is, what it's gonna do is just kinda store the user ID of the player that joins so you know exactly who is joining and wh what values you can pull out of your database so we're just gonna call this data store what this is basically doing is calling a uh, update function to the database that you're about to change and the function uh, parameter is going to be old value so that's the old value that you used to have but of course, if this never guy never ever played like this, if this player that joined has never played your game, it's gonna be zero. Uh, it's gonna be nil. So we're gonna have to check uh, if it's nil or not. So we're just gonna see if old value is e isn't equal to nil. That's what that if statement is right there. And uh, if it isn't, then we're just going to go ahead and add the value here. So the new value is equal to new the new value plus fifty. There we go. All right. So uh, then after that, we're just gonna exit out of that if statement, and we're going to make sure that we return the final value, which is the new value that we just created uh, from the old value. So the old value was either zero or nil, and if not, it would be zero, and if so, it would take uh, whatever it was before and then uh, change that to what like a hundred. If it was a hundred, then it'd be 150. If it was 150, it'd be 200, and that's pretty much it. So on the last bit part, uh, last part right here, it was a uh, cash dot value is uh, your cash value is equal to data store async is just getting the 
it's just that's just getting the value that you just stored. So I uh, oh I actually got an error here. It's a uh, infinite string near quotation marks. Oh I <laughs> had some kind of little deal right there. All right, uh, I got another error. Expected near function name. Let's see here. Uh, line fourteen. Okay, so we got. Oh, I put a uh, dot and user. Okay, let's see. Uh, I need to change that to a comma. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're gonna play it again. And as you guys can see, he has fifty cash. Well, I have fifty cash, and then I'm going to play it again. And I should have a hundred cash. Okay, never mind. Hold up one second. We're gonna debug this real fast. And you failed. Oh no, it's uh, the old value plus fifty. That's what you want to have. So uh, the new value is equal to old value plus fifty, and now you should go. Okay, so now I have a hundred cash, and then once I play it again, I should have one hundred fifty. There we go. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Put a like down below if you liked it, and comment down below if you have any questions. Peace out, guys.